This question belongs to 2013, May, June, paper 1, 3, and uh, the question number is 16. So uh, it shows, the diagram shows an arrangement used to find the outward power of an electric motor. So this is the motor. Uh, the wheel attached to the motor's axle, axle, and this is the wheel, has a circumference of 0 0.5 meters. So it is uh, C equal to 0 0.5 meters. The circumference means that in one rotation, it will cross a linear distance of 0 0.5 meters. Which passes over it is stationary when the weights have the values uh, shown. So that means uh, uh, when the weights are like this, uh, this uh, thing cannot rotate. It means that uh, the work done by this and this is equal to the work done by this. So let's talk it, uh, about it later. So if the wheel is making uh, 20 revolutions per uh, second, what is the output power of the motor? So first, uh, what we have to find is, if it is making this, this rate of revolution, we have to find its linear velocity. So, uh, one in one revolution, it will be crossing a linear distance of 0 0.5 meters. So that means 20 revolutions mean it is 20 into 0 0.5 equal to 10 meters. So that means 20 revolutions per second means 10 meter per second. So that's why the linear velocity of this belt would be would be 10 meter per second. So with this now if this thing remains stationary here, it means that the work done by this 20 Newton, the work done by this 20 Newton, which is uh, uh, force 20 Newton into the height it uh, goes down, let us say, goes down, plus the work done by this uh, motor, work done by motor, should be equal to the work done by this in rising. So this is, 50 into h so if i so if i assume that uh, this is the height fallen h is the height fallen by this the height uh, that rises uh, that uh, is risen by this 50 newton it should also be h so if i divide both sides by uh, time t it will be 20 into h by t plus w m by t should be equal to 50 into h by t so, or 20 into velocity plus power of the motor should be equal to 50 into velocity. So, which gives us 20 into 10 plus power of the motor equal to 50 into 10, which further gives us 200 plus power m should be equal to 500. And that gives us the power m should be equal to 500 minus 200 equal to 300 watt. So the answer choice which resembles this is choice number A. So choice number A should be the correct answer.